So when I was deciding to do this channel, I saw a lot of different advice about what to do, how to do it, how to choose your topic and all of that kind of stuff. And for me, um, what resonated with me, the advice that resonated with me the most was to do what you want to see. And like I said, during the pandemic, there were a lot of creators that I tuned into while on lockdown, while not going to work or not you know, seeing family. However, there weren't a lot of creatives in the travel space, which I truly enjoy travel. I showed you guys in the Getting to Know Me video, my travel tattoo. Um, I truly enjoy travel and I watched a lot of travel and there wasn't a lot of what I wanted to see. I didn't see myself reflected, first of all, in a lot of these videos. And I did not see um, some of the content, some of the places I would go reflected in those videos. And I tend to normally just naturally share with my friends and family where I'm traveling, what I'm wearing as I'm traveling there, the, these kinds of you know outfit I, outfit ideas and everything. If I'm going shopping and I'm thinking of something new, and then you know I'll share little clips with them. And so I decided that I would just document the process on a channel, just like I documented you know my child's you know sports years and those kinds of things, and shared it with family um, through private videos on YouTube. I figured I would document this travel journey of mine, especially since I have committed, recommitted to traveling even more. I figured I would share that with you because there may be others out there who enjoy this, this type of content as well and who have, been, who have been missing this type of content on YouTube. And so in that regard, the first thing that I want to share with you because I love travel and I love fashion. If you see my latest videos from um, New York Fashion Week, then you see that I travel for fashion, I travel for food, I travel for music, I've been to festivals, and you've seen some of those videos and concerts and those types of things. And so I'm going to put together for you some outfit ideas. Hello, Love Trotters. Thank you for clicking on another video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lori, and in this community, our mission is to educate, motivate, and inspire each other in all things travel related. So this is another fall travel outfit video. You guys really liked the first one. And so since it is officially fall now, I'm so excited, my favorite season, I'm gonna show you some of the outfits. I'm going on a long trip soon. Stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure that you click that subscribe button because I tend to post um, notices, updates, things that are going on. So I'll be posting some things about this upcoming trip soon. And if you're not a subscriber, if you're not um, tuned into the channel, then you won't get those notices and you won't know what's going on. So uh, make sure that you subscribe, click on that red button, make sure that you hit that notification bell. And for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you for being a subscriber. For those of you who are not, I hope that you will consider. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some other outfit ideas. I was going through and trying on different outfits and trying to figure out what I'm going to wear because you know, fall again is all about you know, cool, crisp weather. Sometimes it's warmer, sometimes it's cooler. And so the trickiness of it all is a little bit of fun trying to play the what to wear game, for me at least. If you're not new here, then you already know that there are a couple simple guidelines that I stick to when I travel. Um, for one, I don't <laughs> tend to check luggage. I'm usually carry on only. Um, Secondly, I am very much about a capsule wardrobe when I'm packing. Um, there was a video that I did on, on how to pack and how to pack smartly and how to pack with the carry-on only again. Um, I also tend to uh, be a minimalist when it comes to the number of shoes and such that I carry. I had a funny uh, short video that I posted about the overpacker and that is so not me. I am not that I am not that girl that does all the extra things. And if you've not seen that as yet, I'll insert a little clip of it right here. I think I have everything. It's a three or four day weekend. I gotta pack. Help me out guys. I'm going to the beach three days. So definitely gonna need at least two bathing suits for each day. A cover up for each bathing suit. Then I need a scarf or a blanket just in case just in case I get cold on a plane. I think the weather forecast calls for rain, so I'm gonna need some rain boots. If I need rain boots, I'm definitely gonna need an umbrella. Mm -hmm. I should bring my raincoat too, just in case. Just in case I'll bring my raincoat. Yeah, raincoat. Beach bag, duh, I'm going to the beach. <gasps> Can't go to the beach without reading. Got a bunch of books that I'm sure I'm gonna get through because I read really fast. I know I'm gonna work out, so I need some sneakers. 
Yeah, that is so not me. <laughs> and so if I've already told you before, then you can, you know, just make extra special notes of it. Um, but if you've not heard this before, I usually start with footwear. So we'll start with footwear. Because I have TSA pre-check with my global entry, I will usually just wear soft sole shoes through security because I wish to not have to take my shoes off because what's the point otherwise? Not take my shoes off, um, not take my jacket off if I have a light jacket on. However, if you have a long jacket on, I found out that recently, they will ask you to take that off, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, so with the footwear, I tend to wear soft sole shoes so that I can just breeze through security without having to take my shoes off. Uh, but just in case, I always have a little footy or something on my feet. Um, in, in those shoes or I, if I'm wearing sandals and I have a pair of socks, usually it's a pair of like thick socks or nothing sticky or wet on the floor will soak through easily. And so I'll usually have a pair of socks in my personal item, my bag that I'm carrying. And so I could just like pop that out really easily and slip those on my feet. I, us I usually have it on the top, pack it on the top of my bag so I can slip those on easily. So for the purposes of this video, I'm assuming that you're traveling via plane, but even if not, even if you're driving, you know, in the fall, there's all these uh, festivals and stuff that happens that we drive to. There are, you know, holidays um, that we celebrate de de depending on your faith, depending on where you're located in the country, in the world. And so, um, you know, you may be driving more and taking more road trips, seeing the the leaves change. I know here in Appalachia, where I live, there are a lot of people who come down here to see the changing leaves and see the pretty foliage on the trees and those kinds of things. So let's start with footwear. The first you are very familiar with because you, if you've been on this channel before, then you've seen these. These are my Fendi Feels and these are my go-to. I got these in my uh, Toronto vlog when I went to, uh, to Canada earlier this year. And these are so, 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 so comfortable. If it's a shorter flight, this is what I'm going to be wearing because I am a bit hot natured. And so I don't want to be too warm on the plane and uncomfortable. And so this, I'll be comfortable in these and, you know, be just fine. So this is the first footwear item that I'm sharing with you. The other you would not have seen before. Well, you probably have seen it in my New York vlog because I, um, definitely wore a lot of green during Labor Day and uh, Fashion Week, but it's these uh, Adidas, if you call them trainers or sneakers, or I don't know, depending on where you are. It's the Adidas and Day and uh, Wales Bronner collaboration. And um, it's in my favorite color green. And again, I tend to be more of a minimalist when it comes to colors. I wear more of the muted colors. And if you've been anywhere on TikTok or, or you know, YouTube or any other social media in the fashion space, then you've probably heard of quiet luxury and this whole trend of you know less logos and more muted colors and more monochrome outfits and those those types of things. Well, that's totally my vibe anyway. You know, I'm not usually like screaming with the logos. You know, Fendi excluded. But even still, I know I I don't think most people would know that these are Fendi's. Um, it just looks like a brown and black type of clunky pair of sandals. Oops, some fell. So. Um, the second pair of footwear would be these sneakers. Now, sneakers, any kind of sneakers, and I have um, just about two or three pairs uh, of sneakers, these are usually what I would wear on a long flight because I want my toes covered. I am more than likely wearing um, some compression socks, compression hose that go from your foot all the way up to your knees. And if you don't know about compression hose, look at my video on international flights. Um, because I talk about that being an essential. Any flight for me, typically, whether it's national or international, any flight four hours or more, I wear compression socks because I don't want to, you know, chance it with my health and have a blood clot that could, you know, threaten my life. I do not want to have swollen feet when I get there. I don't want to have pain in my legs. Um, if I fall asleep and forget to get up and walk about a little bit, I want to make sure that I give myself the best um, the best chance of arriving there safely and arriving there feeling good and not having to, you know, do extra things 
to make sure that I'm not, you know, puffy and swollen. And I tend to get puffy and swollen very easily. And so that's one thing. So sneakers, if it's a longer flight, or if I will be needing to um, have sneakers when I get there. And typically with the footwear, what I tell you in that pack with me video and the um, I only travel with carry on video is to wear your clunkiest or your thickest or your bulkiest items. And so usually sneakers are my bulkiest items or these sandals would be my bulkiest items because there's they can't be folded, they can't be squished down. There's, you know, it's just, very very thick and very very heavy and so those heavy bulky clunky items i tend to wear them so this is why i'm showing you the footwear first they tend to be the clunkiest items the next footwear item is a pair of mules i'm going to give you three options in this video and this is a pair of um mules slides whatever you call them depending on where you are and these are from coach I have these in black and I have these also in cream. And I picked these up from the Coach Outlet um, in Key West. Yeah, I did post a Key West video from earlier in the year. And so I picked these up from the um, Coach Outlet store in Key West and they're pretty reasonable. I, I, and that's why I got two pairs. I don't usually buy two pairs of something, you know, different colors at the same time. But um, they're pretty true to size. Well, are they? No, they're not because this says eight and a half and typically I'm a seven and a half to eight. So go up about half a size to one size larger. Um, the same thing with the Adidas Wales Bronner. This is the males, male size, male size six. So I went up about half a size in these because I'm usually a male size five or five and a half. And then the Fendi Fields, these are a size 38. So these are true to size, definitely. Okay. So those are the three pairs of footwear that I'm going to show you in the video. The next simple guideline that I follow is dressing in layers. And for me, that means starting with a basic foundation and, um, because I'm a New Yorker, I love all black, and I tend to dress in a lot of black, and so I tend to just add to the black that I'm wearing, and I can carry, you know, a couple simple basics, you know, elevated basics or you know, uh, simple layers that can be added to, taken away from, and make it, you know, make it different outfits, so that I don't have to carry a lot in my suitcase. That's another thing. I don't want to carry a lot because if I get there and I see something cute that I want to buy or something, you know, uh, a nice collectible or something for my wall or something for my home or you know, in my last uh, video I showed you my little unboxing from Tiffany that I purchased something. You know, I love to pick up things that are unique. I'm very selective about my purchases. Um, however, if I find something that truly speaks to me, I want to have the space to take it with me. And I am not checking it because I don't want it to get lost. I don't want it to get damaged. And so that's what, that's what it is. So let me start with the outfit that I have on. The basic that I'm wearing is a undershirt from H&M and I have this in multiples. So I have, um, I, I like the H&M one for one because it's pretty good quality. It's stretchy. It's ribbed and rib, ribbing is always forgiving. Ribbing is um, good for hiding uh, imperfections as well as hiding if you have um, spilled some, some liquids on you or you perspire or, or whatever. Um, but it's also very good for hiding, you know, like women's uh, nipples through the shirts and those kinds of things if you choose to go without a bra because you want to be more comfortable on your flight, what have you. But I have this in, um, I think I have like six of the black ones because I do wear these quite a bit and I may take two or three with me on the trip. That way if I, because because it's, it's ribbed, it's going to take longer to dry. So if I wash it and hang it in the, in the bathroom at the hotel or the lodging overnight, then if it doesn't dry, I have something else to wear and I'm not wearing the same thing and walking about funky all the time. So I may have two or three of these in my suitcase that I just roll up really easily. And another thing that I like about them, I don't have to iron them. And if you have, um, <laughs> if you've been around here for a while, then you know that my least favorite chore, my absolute least favorite chore is ironing. And so that's another key thing you'll see with me, even though I'll have some pieces that are like the shirt is linen, um, because it has a little bit of a pattern on it. 
Um, I could easily just spray my wrinkle releaser, smooth it out, and you don't see any of the slight wrinkles that may be in that. But another thing that I love about my basics, again, my basics have to have some degree of stretch for me. I do not purchase basic under under layers that do not have stretch. They just they just have to be comfortable because I like to travel in comfort, but with style, with, with you know, with some flavor in there. So. This is my under, um, this is what I'm wearing right now, this tank top that you will see throughout this video. Um, I decided to do things a little bit differently here. So you'll see the tank top throughout this video. And what I'm wearing with the tank top is a pair of, um, also with a little degree of stretch, these cigarette pants, or you can call them, some people call them point pants. They have a seam down the front and they're pretty slim fit. I know everybody's doing the baggy fit and the mom jeans and all of that now. Every trend is not for everyone. And I'm sorry, but my body type, five, three and a half, I'm on the curvy side, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more, you know, shapely than some of the people who look good in that mom jeans that straight up and down. I don't have an athletic build. I don't have the boy shape. Um, that, that, that tends to look better on those shapes. My shape, I tend to look better in more fitted clothing um, and in slimmer pants, skinny jeans. Every now and then you'll see me have a full leg, but no, I'm not wearing baggy, I'm not wearing menswear. For me personally, that's not my style and that's not um, what I feel comfortable in. So undergarment, under layers. Let me show you the items that I'll be showing you that I'll be mixing and matching throughout this video to show you outfit ideas. I'll show you the outerwear now. And because it's fall, I get to have some fun with my outerwear. I get to have some fun with these items. Two of the items I've had for quite a while, uh, maybe a year or two now. And then the other item is a new in piece. So you may be able to find this in stores right now. Um, well. The, all of them you should be able to find in stores right now. And I'm not trying to sell you anything on this channel because that is not what the purpose is. The purpose is to share with you. The purpose is to um, increase the community. The purpose is to fill a niche. The purpose is to um, share with my family and my friends and my new friends who are joining this channel. So as you watch, if you find that you're liking the channel, please give it a thumbs up because again, that's a free and easy way to tell YouTube that, hey, the, the you know, this content is great and we're gonna share it with other people. But let me get to the outerwear items. The first item I'm kind of wearing already and it is just a button down shirt. For me, a cotton shirt, a linen shirt, a button down uh, shirt that can be rolled up because I like an extra bit of pizzazz. I have short arms anyway. <laughs> I call them dinosaur arms because I go through the ATM and I'm like stretching and I can't reach. I have to use like extended things to extend the length of my arm, whether it's a, a pencil or a pen or something like that, or I go through a toll booth, who, you know, somewhere in the world where they, they're still taking coins and I'm like throwing coins at the machine. Anywho, um, so the first item is a button down shirt. And uh, this is a linen shirt by Tahari. I think I picked it up at TJ Maxx, it's 100% linen. So linen, here's some things. I choose my materials also carefully. Linen is, is, is one of those materials that keeps you cool. So for me, under the lights of this video, linen was the option to do the video in because it's gonna keep me cool as I'm talking throughout. Um, it breathes easily, it dries quickly. Yes, it takes a little bit more care as far as ironing and, and stuff like that, but it's a really, really, really good material. So the button down shirt is basic outerwear for fall because you can easily put it on if you feel a little chill, a little breeze, you can take it off if you're not feeling, you know, not if you're feeling warm and then you can also switch it up. So I have one here that is from The Gap. And this is just a basic uh, blue chambray shirt and it looks very wrinkled right now because I had it tied around my waist with another outfit. But again, most of my most of my button down long sleeve shirts and I will wear it long sleeve because a long sleeve shirt, you, you can make short sleeve, but you can't make a short sleeve shirt long sleeve. So in the fall, if things get chilly, you wanna be able to roll those sleeves down and cover your arms and get warm quickly. So I tend to push them up, roll them up to three quarter length for me personally. Um, but yeah, here's another shirt that you will see throughout the video. 
um, at, or at some points in the video that I will wear with this outfit. So I can just easily switch this out and the outfit becomes a different outfit. I'm traveling, I'm comfortable, I'm wearing this, but when I get to my destination, it can become this outfit quite easily. It's a different look, it's a different feel because you know of the pattern, because of the color, it's a, it's a lighter background. So all of the things. The other option for outerwear for me personally is a scarf. And again, choosing my materials very carefully because I am a minimalist, I tend to purchase high quality items that I can keep for quite a while and that will be used and worn well and I won't have to throw it away. Now there are some items that I buy fast fashion because it's probably a trendy item and so I am not as invested in keeping it long because it's, it's something that I think will go out of fashion really quickly. But for a scarf, absolutely, I am purchasing something that's going to be of a higher quality. And this is a 100% cashmere scarf. I don't know the dimensions of it, but as you can see, it's pretty long and pretty wide because it's not fitting in the frame of the video. But I got this from Italic. And this is a company online that they sell high quality items made in the same factories as some of your designer luxury brand items, but for a lower price, a lower cost. They actually sell you the items at closer to cost than your luxury items do. And so for those items such as, um, for instance, I've purchased um, cashmere scarves, throws, um, I like a cashmere pajama shorty set, um, I have gotten gold jewelry from them, I've gotten diamond jewelry from them, I have purchased so many different things, so many different things. They have luggage, they have candles, they have home, home goods, all of the things. And these are produced in the same warehouses as your Pradas and your Mew Mews and your Burberries and all of those things. So this I purchased from Italic. I have this in black and I also have it in camel. And so I tend to drape this. I use this in the fall and I use this in the winter. I use it in the winter as a scarf. It's an extra big scarf for me. And I use it, you know, in New York, if you know, or you go to colder, colder climates and if the wind is blustery, you need to cover so that you can have, you know, warm air coming into your nostrils and all of that. But I use it on the plane as a blanket. If you do some research, you will know that <laughs> not all of the airlines provide you, number one, with a blanket on the plane especially for longer flights. And again, I'm taking a longer flight soon. And so this will be going with me. So I've already, you know, put this aside with the items that I'm packing or the items that will be going, going with me to the airport because I'm traveling with this as part of my outfit. And um, they don't give you blankets. And if they do give you blankets, not always are the blankets washed and cleaned and switched out in between flights. And so for a borderline germaphobe, that is an absolute no-no. So I have to carry my own blanket. I have to know that it's clean. I have to know that it's, um, that it's sanitized and sanitary and it's not been dragging on the floor, but been, been snotty with somebody or uh, any of those things or taken to the bathroom with them. Um, cashmere is another one of those fabrics, another one of those materials or fabrics that is um, highly breathable. Also very um, hypoallergenic, I believe. Uh, but cashmere for me is the choice because I am actually allergic to wool and if I have wool close to my skin, my, my body breaks out, it's like eczema and I get like a dark rash and it's, it's, it's very painful, it's like a burn, burn burning feeling. So anything um, that I have that looks like wool is more than likely cashmere or if it's not cashmere, it's probably a polyester blend. But more than likely it's 100% cashmere. So my cashmere scarf, of course, can be used as a blanket on the plane, can be used as a wrap at night if I'm going out to dinner, can be used as something very elegant, you know, like that. Or if I'm just going somewhere and it's chilly and it, um, you know, or I'm walking early in the morning on the beach or I'm taking a walk early through a city or going up in the mountains for a hike or what have you, this can be used for multiple, multiple reasons while I'm traveling. So that's my second outerwear option. My third outerwear option, 
is it this, is this the third? Yes, my third outerwear option that I'm showing you right now um, in the outfits that are probably scrolling beside me here is a cardigan. But it's not just any old cardigan, it's a long cardigan. And this is a cardigan from Hanifa. And it comes, and this is a black owned company that you probably saw their knitwear. I wore a knit dress, a knit mini dress to Fashion Week, a green knit mini dress to Fashion Week um, in this previous video. And love the company. It's a black owned company. Uh, the styles, they don't do, they don't roll out a whole lot of clothing each, each season. I would, I would categorize them as a designer luxury brand. And so because they're black owned, I um, also am very uh, fond of them. Now I would say size down in their clothing. This is a extra, extra small or extra small. It's, it's, it's as XXS slash XS. So in this cardigan, you need to size down because it's made for Amazon women. <laughs> it's made for tall women and it's made for um, uh, very statuesque women. So this is my size, an extra, extra small, and generally I wear a size <laughs> medium large in clothing or extra large even, but usually medium or large. It has tassels at the bottom and I love that. It has really long full sleeves and you know, I can roll those up, but it has a little bit of a bell at the bottom of the sleeves. Um, it has a tie, a sash that, that can tie. Um, I tend to just leave it in the back to tie it in a bow so that it, you know. Here's the little trick. I tie my sashes in the back of my coats, my cardigans, etc. if it has a, a sash because it better accentuates my waist. Um, I have a, again, a, a more of a curvy hourglass figure. And so this tends to show that up more. And for me, I prefer to accentuate my curves and have it tied in the back. So you'll see um, with this and with some other items that I have that I tie, I tie it in the back so it just snatches the fabric away from just hanging straight and it actually, you know, it more forms to my body. So this is, um, the third outerwear item. And then I'll show you an even fourth outerwear item now. And that is a trench coat. Now, I know you saw a trench coat in the last fall video, the last fall travel outfit video, but this one is a little bit different. This one is a little bit trendy now, um, but I purchased it anyway because I think it is one of those things that I will continue to wear even when the trend wears off. And this is a sleeveless trench coat yes so the trend right now this year is for sleeveless trench it's for cropped trenches or cropped jackets period if you get a cropped biker jacket if you get a cropped blazer if you get a cropped um, um, denim jacket if you get a cropped trench coat then you're gonna look more on trend with the fashions this fall and winter so again, it has a sash in the back. It's pretty long. I, um, of course, tied the sash towards the back because I like it to be like that. And you probably have seen this already because I wore it to New York and showed you my outfit before I went to the Brooklyn Museum to see the African fashion exhibit. So this trench coat also is very unique. I like that it has these um, buttons on the shoulder. Uh, I, what, what are these called? Appellates. It has a cuffed portion right here, but because this brings it out, it makes the shoulders look way more structured when you put it on. But yeah, I really, really like this. Oh, I got this from Mango, size large. For me, outerwear, yes, definitely wanted to fit a little bit looser. And this, and the trend this uh, this fall and winter actually is going to be like way oversized. But again, I don't like my clothing to look like I'm wearing menswear. I prefer to have a tailored look. I prefer to have a stylish look when I'm traveling. But of course, um, I have to be comfortable. So this is cotton. 
very breathable, very comfortable. Of course, it's gonna get a little wrinkled, but I carry extra wrinkle release with me. I actually, when I was in New York for Fashion Week, I went to my friend's house and she did not know what the purpose of um, wrinkle release was, was. And so I unrolled this, basically had it rolled up in my suitcase because it was so hot in New York, so I didn't wear it while I was in New York the second time. And so, but I was gonna wear it to come back to Tennessee, to fly back to Tennessee, wear it on the plane and such. And so I unrolled it and I started spraying it. And she's like, she calls me Annie. She said, like, Annie, do you want a, uh, an iron? And I'm like, no, I'm good. I have, um, I don't iron, I have a, uh, my spray. And she watched me literally spray it, smooth it out, tug it, and, and just all the wrinkles disappeared. <laughs> He thought it was magic. She was like, come here, you gotta see what she just did. And she showed how it just smoothed everything out and all of that and just, yeah. So those are my outerwear items that I tend to travel with during the fall, either this trench or the trench that you saw in the previous video, my Burberry trench with the full sleeves. But even with those sleeves, I tend to ruch them up a little bit. Uh, but this is the one that you're probably gonna be sick of by the end of this fall because I'm gonna be wearing this probably a whole lot a whole lot as i travel and as you see me in the videos you'll know oh yeah that, that's that mango sleeveless trench that she purchased but i'm sure you can purchase it for a whole lot more on different sites with the with the designer you know luxury ones but um yeah i i i am good with this one <laughs> i'm good with the price point and i'm good with this one so guys i hope that you enjoyed this brief fall travel outfits video if you did, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with someone that you know. And tell me, which was your favorite outfit? Or maybe there was a favorite item that you saw throughout the video. Let me know down in the comment section below which was your favorite. As always, I hope you have a great day and I hope you remember to value experiences over things because travel is the only thing we buy that truly makes us richer. Ciao.